back to Project Wellington today we're going to be trying to create a mould of my Focus RS arches because I want to put these or ones like it onto my ST this was originally an ST as well so basically we could either copy this hinge which is cracking or we could just take a mould of this area here and then try and create something out of fibreglass to then put over to the other car. So first job is to cover this so that it doesn't get damaged when, we'll, when we're doing all our work on it. So I'm going to use some black tape because that seems to peel off quite well without leaving any residue and then we can put some plastic down to cover that and we wrap it around here so it keeps it tight and then we can look at putting some fiberglass on there so just sit back and relax and watch okay so we're going to take this area up around here and See, I've taped the area up so that it doesn't affect who you go into the actual uh, bodywork. I might take some bits down there as well because obviously we want it to blend around. Um, but then I might just cover it. And then the next stage is using that spray on glue to fix the first area of um, fiberglass. But we want to do the stitched fiberglass which is clear or like white and is like fiberglass, uh, like carbon fiber. So that's our next job. this a mould we're going to tape along around the wheel arch like we've done and then we're going to make another mould coming out of the top so that we get that exact shape that we want to mould over and over again 
so that way we can sell it because the only other kit that I've seen for sale is 600 pounds and I don't think it's very easy to mount so I'm trying to do this this way so that we can put like a foam backing in there make it easier to bond to your car so next job is to make the top part of the mould and then we can look at making with the fiberglass the actual mould that we're going to be doing I may even make a pull and a buck so if I can get hold of a friend to make a buck for this then that would be even better and then we can get rid of all these bubbles and such like but this is probably the easiest way I think of making a mould so the next job is to create another template to go around the top end of the actual arch <laughs> Champagne, champagne, champagne. We're gonna say no. basically the shape of the arch to begin with um, so the next stage is to spray glue some um, we might use a bit of carbon fiber actually because that will give it some added strength and then when the um, fiberglass resin comes then we can start laying some fiberglass but basically that's the shape of the arch that we're going to be building to put onto the standard ST. This sheet that I've laid down is like a fiberglass um, weave and what we're going to do is we're going to spray inside those boxes and then lay this down and that will create the first part of the mould and then obviously once that's all dry we can start using fiberglass to create the first part of the strengthening of this. Now you can use like a metal inside it as well. So we could cut some of that in there. That would give it a bit more rigidity in the um, actual uh, arch um, mould. Um, so what we want to do is try and create the best shape we can um, so what we're going to do is spray some adhesive carpet um, adhesive down and then start to stick this down and then we'll come back after that and we look at doing some meshing. See we've laid that in and that's basically the actual um, mould itself. Now you can see some creases in here what you can do is if you wanted to smooth it all off beforehand what you could do is put some modelling clay in there to get the flatness and then put your fibreglass in but I think as this is just a first one we're just going to go ahead and put our fibreglass down 
because this is just going to be the um, the mold and basically from the other side is where you're going to be putting the mold so we can always smooth that area which should be flatter because it's using the black tape so I wouldn't worry too much about it at the moment um, but yeah next job is to obviously let that dry out and then we come back tomorrow and we'll put the fiberglass down and that will then give it its strength um, we can also put some metal um, in there and use the bondo and the resin to set that in just to give it some more rigidity but we'll do that tomorrow okay so i've layered a first layer of um, fiberglass gonna leave that to dry tonight and then put some more on tomorrow it is pretty hard still but we'll leave it till tomorrow and then we'll put some more coats and obviously add some metal to strengthen the mould.